Tonight, what could be a new short-term solution to the looming fiscal disaster? Top Republican Mitch McConnell offering Democrats a deal to allow the government to extend its ability to borrow money to pay its bills for another two months. We view that as a victory. We view it as a temporary victory, though, with more work to do. Democrats have been blasting Republicans for refusing to join them to raise the debt limit that covers past spending by both parties, an effort Democrats say has always been bipartisan. President Biden earlier today accusing Republicans of playing a dangerous game. Doesn't have to be this way. My Republican friends need to stop playing Russian roulette with the U.S. economy. But Republicans argue Democrats have rushed to pass trillions of dollars in new spending without GOP support. So Democrats, they say, should raise the debt ceiling on their own and that their offer gives them more time to do it. I'm not going to support uh, th this, uh, uh, this craziness that my President Biden and his new woke left friends are trying to... Uh, to ram down the American people's throat. The debt ceiling is effectively the country's credit card limit, now set at just above $28 trillion. If it is not raised before October 18th, according to the Treasury Department, the U.S. will run out of cash and for the first time ever default on its bills. We would likely experience a recession. Millions of jobs would be lost and the pain would endure well past the resolution of the crisis. The impact affecting most Americans, from plunging stock markets to rising credit card and mortgage rates. Nearly 50 million seniors could stop receiving Social Security checks, members of the military could go unpaid, and child tax credits for millions of families could be delayed. And Peter, if this deal is done, it's a temporary fix, and we'd be right back in the same place later this year. Yeah, Lester, that's right. Republicans and Democrats are still at odds over how to resolve this issue for a longer period of time. So it does take a little pressure off right now, but it means Congress will face the threat of default again in December, just before Christmas. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.